Hi friends, welcome to Competitive Exams Material Channel. In this video, we'll see how to generate random numbers in Java. Okay, so if you have a requirement or if you got a requirement from the customer or the client saying how to generate some random numbers, right? Okay, so you will not get directly the requirement like this, but sometimes you might be uh, getting a requirement like you need to generate a random number. So in that case, how to generate a random number? So we can generate uh, random numbers in three different ways. So the first one is math.random method. What is the first method? Math.random. And the second one is thread local random class. Thread local random class. And the third one is Java dot Java dot util dot random class so these are the three different ways to generate random numbers so we'll see this each method in detail with help of an example okay so let's start with okay creating a package uh, as this is related to math i'll just create a package called math package and inside this I'll create a class called random demo and inside it create a main method. So why do we create a main method? It is an entry point for any Java application. If you want to execute a program, let's start with the main method. Okay. So what is the first one method math dot random we have a class called math let's see the documentation regarding the related to math class control shift t math okay so what is this math class so this class contains methods for performing basic numeric operations such as exponential logarithm square root and trigonometric functions okay we can do all these mathematical or numeric operations with the help of the math class okay and one of these methods is random so let's go to the random method so if you see the random method okay it returns a random number random method so it returns a double value with a positive sign greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1.0. Okay, returned values are chosen randomly with uniform distribution from the range. From the given range, it returns the random number. It creates a single new pseudo random number generator exactly as if by the expression. So let's run this, create a program and run this. System dot out dot println math dot math dot random math dot random. Okay, so what this random method does? It returns a double value with the positive sign greater than or equal to zero. When this method is called, it creates a new single random number generator. And if you see right. Uh, one of the beauty of this is this method is properly synchronized to allow correct use by more than one thread however if many threads need to generate random number at a greater rate it may reduce contention for each thread to have its own random number generator so in order to avoid conflicts right so in order to avoid conflicts then multi in multi-threaded environment so that is the reason this math dot random is an so Let's run the program and see the output. If you see, it returns a double number randomly. Let's run and see one more time. What is the output? So if you see, now we got 0 0.58. Earlier we got 0 0.29. Now let's run the program and see the output. Yeah, now if you see 0 0.095. So this is how we generate a random number by using math class random method. So next one is thread local random by using thread local random also we can generate a random number. 
So it is present in java.util.concurrent package. Let's open this thread local runner, sorry, thread local random class. Control shift thread local random. So it is present where it is introduced in java 1.7 and it is present in java.util.concurrent package. Okay. So by using this as well, we can generate a random numbers. So it generates random numbers of types, integers, doubles, booleans, etc. So let's write the program and see how do we generate random number by using thread local random class. So first one is thread local random dot current dot next int okay so this is used to generate integer random number okay so this next int will return integer random number what this current will do it returns the current threads thread local random it returns current threads lo thread local random let's run the program and see the output whether we are getting or not I am just commenting the first one which is written in the double value which is used using I mean which is generated using math.random so I am running the program by using thread local random current next int run the program and see the output if you see it generated 143376850 let's run and one more time and see the output whether it is generating random number or not yeah it's generating random integer so and we'll see some important points okay and some important methods in the thread local random class as well so a random number generator isolated to the current thread so java.util.random generator used by java.lang method math class a thread local random is initialized with any internally generated seed that may not otherwise be modified next usages of this class should be like this how should we use thread local random dot current dot next int next double next boolean it will return the okay values accordingly suppose if you see next int next double and then next string or let's see i mean what all other methods we have next load we have next int we have next long we have next boolean we have now let's run the program and see output so if you see minus 321 0.2986 and then true now let's run the program and see whether it is returning randomly the values or not 1437 0.4854 and uh, true okay so it returns a pseudo random boolean value it returns a pseudo random double value it returns a pseudo random int value so these are the two important different methods used in the thread local random class so this is the second method now we'll see the third method by using java.util.random so uh, this java.util.random it is used in i mean it is present in which package java.util package for using this class to generate random numbers we have to first create an instance of this class and then we need to invoke a methods such as next int next double next long etc using that instance so we can generate random numbers of type integer float double long booleans using this class okay we can also pass the range okay we can also pass the arguments to this method for placing an upper bound on the range of the numbers okay so let's see the pro write the program and see the output i am just commenting these methods as well sorry commenting these lines as well and now i am going to use java.util.random package 
So the first step what we need to do is we need to create a instance of random. Let's create an instance of random which is present in java.util.package. Okay, random random equal to new random. And then an instance of this class is used to generate a stream of random numbers. The class uses a 48 bit seed which is modified using linear congruential formula. So if two instances of random are created with the same seed and the same sequence of method calls is made, they will generate and return identical sequences of number. Okay, and then are there any other important points to be noted here? Everything looks good. Okay, so this is a random class. I have created an instance of a random class, and then now what I am doing? I am calling a method random dot next int. So just give the higher range here. If you say thousand, it means 0 to 1000 will be included. If we say 10,000, it will include range between 0 to 10,000. This is for generating random integer number. So, if we want to generate random double number, so how do we generate that? So, rand dot next double, next double, and then random dot let's see what all other methods are available next float next boolean next long okay let's print this output so i'm printing this output as well the second output as well and the third one also we will see. Run the program and see the output. Okay, first one is integer, second one is double and third one is long. Again run the program and see the output. Whether it is generating random value or not. You see, it is generating random value up to 10,000. Why? Because we have given upper bound of 10,000. Okay. So, hope you understand how to generate random numbers in Java with help of an example by using the three different methods. What are, what are those? Math.random, thread.local.random.current.next in, next double and next boolean. So, by using three different classes, mainly math class, thread local random class, and the random class which is present in Java util package. Hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching this, watching my video. If you like my videos, don't, don't forget to subscribe and comment on my videos.